milestone of five. Oh, baby. And I am grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to celebrate each birthday and get older. Just have a little bit of an adverse reaction to it. Anyway, tonight, Sunday Live, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I've been working with resin a lot today and the previous Sunday. So I will come back and show you the, the bouquet of flower arrangements that I'm doing. But... But this evening I wanted to give myself a little break and I was asked when I created my Tree of Life Mixed Media Apologies, my collaboration with um, Cosmic Carol Creations to show you how I do or did my Tree of Life in real time. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to see you. Oh, well, hello, my lady. Thank you so much for all your support and sending me that beautiful gift through the post much appreciated and thank you so much for organizing that surprise surprise it's still a black ear uh surprise connection with the amazing wanda blessed creations so i'm gonna wait until we get a few more people on and then we'll start the process let me know if you're in here watching who is in here i'd like to know i'd like to say hello <laughs> and i will talk you through what we're doing here now i have prepared my board because I didn't want it to be another week where you're watching me cut around cellophane or sticking things on with UV resin. I didn't want you seeing me dab all these stars. Um, but I've just primed my board and all I've done is... Oh, hello, Petra. Hi. Hello, Heather Green. Hello, Cosmic Carol. Hello, Renee. Hello, Nicole. Oh, you're at the side where you can see my chicken thing. Coming around. So, hello, everybody hello so when i'm looking down here it's because my if i can lift it up a bit I've got, I've got, you know i don't want to hurt my neck bending down let me just see what i've got here to be able to just stick it there so i can lift it up oh 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 she's dropping things behind the scenes clumsy sharon strikes again yeah that's not going to work is it sharon you've got something i know you'll have something just put your hands on what something is just to lift it up you know what, I'm going to try my uh, masks. I think they should uh, take the strain on it. Sorry, live again. I just disappeared on her. Just to help my little neck. Anyway, a little bit better. All I've done is primed my board. There was some, there's something else under here that I didn't really enjoy, so I've just wiped it over. But it has created some natural organic effects where the white was underneath. So it's a lighter blue. So I've just painted it with ultramarine blue. I then had my face and body glitter, glam crystals, which is like a little iridescence. And I blew a little bit of sparkle on this just to help with the stars. And then I hand painted on, I'm just going to see if I can move it so you get to see the glisten of the stars with the glitter. Let me know if you can you can't <laughs> but there is there's a lot of uh, glitter on there so it sparkles and it has i think a beautiful feeling to it so i just need to check and get that in the right direction for you i'm also stuck <laughs> with my um masking tape my board onto my stand so that you can see a little bit easier and you get to see me a little bit as well because i mean why wouldn't you want to see me anyway um Everybody is chatting nicely. We've got Bernie's here, Creation. Welcome. Cosmic Carol. Everybody's good. Everybody's good in the hood. Okay, I have my water. I have my pens. Got my paintbrushes. Got my iPad, so I should be able to see. Oh, you, you can see the sparkling, Renee. That's good to know. And I use a little bit of white just to paint my, my moon or my planet in there. And then I did my stars. That is currently where we're up to. And now I've got a cup of tea, so I might stand off the screen every so often and drink my tea. But I'm going to start with my uh, tree. But before I do, how is everybody? Oh, hello, Stacey. Welcome. Now, before we start this, thank you everybody so much for all your support by hanging out with me this evening, Sunday evening. I'm going to start getting certain things done on certain days, so you should start seeing routines. So it's going to be sculpture Saturdays. Sunday hangout, that kind of thing, but I'll reveal it a bit later. Well, another day, not tonight. And also, people who are subscribers of my channel, thank you so much. If you firstly see my channel, 
you think it's worthwhile give me a little thumbs up and maybe subscribe to that channel and thank you to all my members and um, thank you also paula for doing some amazing things for me this week rock star oh hello jellica hello cat karen <laughs> welcome now i hope you're not going to be too bored watching me create i don't think you will i think you're going to be bedazzled it's just a lot slower than it was when i did it on time lapse as you can imagine i'm just going to start mapping it out where i want it to be and if you've got any questions ask away if you just want to chat amongst yourself and uh, just want to see this come to life then that's fine and even if you can only stay with me a little while it's okay i just appreciate each and every minute you're with me all i've got at the minute is some brown van dyke brown and I'm just roughly mapping out where I feel I'm going to want my tree to go. And at this stage, it is just a, a very um, loose, loose mapping out of branches that I'm going to do. And then I'll come in with some more detail. If you, uh, I'd love to know if you enjoyed seeing my other tree alive. That one was a mixed media. I just didn't have time to get my mixed media set up for tonight's show and I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to do one but lovely Paula my conscience again was checking how I was doing if I was going to be here hey Neil welcome I think I've said hello to everybody I'm going to have another um American branch frame in my moon again there at the minute I'm just trying to understand where I'm going to take this piece and and where it's going to be like and that's really it and I'm going to come in with some slightly um, lighter colours now so hopefully you should start seeing it because uh, looking at that there you can't really see too much I'm just trying to get my right brush I've been playing with brushes a lot recently so they're all over the pot I'm going to start coming in now with Mars Brown and just starting to lighten up some areas keep it quite loose still what's going on in chat hello Hey Anna Marie, oh, I hope, I hope you're going to be around to watch your piece that's premiering on my birthday and I hope you will enjoy, enjoy in seeing how that goddess came to life. She was a beauty to work on, really enjoyed her. I'm just getting the main, 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 main. Oh, we should do lingo bingo, shouldn't we, to see how I go. Is Sharon going to be on form tonight? Or is she actually going to be quite good with what she's saying? Is the magic of my tree going to give me good luck when it comes to lingo bingo? I think so. I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling that I might be in control of my mouth. Let's see. And if you can see um, this brown so far because it's quite subtle at this stage before we start stepping it up and adding those shading oh I feel like i pooped <laughs> i dropped a nice little bit of brown th oh okay i'm going to share something with you that was hideous that happened to me on my last shift at work on the way in i'm just going to come out with some tiny little branches now so if you are delicate of a stomach oh, i don't know if i should share this on a live really <laughs> well hello the crafty not miss felicia everybody's in the house let me know if you want me to share my story with you, even though it is a little bit squeamish and vulgar. It's, it's a very quick story. It's just, yeah, something that you don't want to have to happen to you on your way into work when you've got to work a full day. I just can't get the right brush at the minute. I have to bond with my brushes when I'm painting. It's really bizarre. Right, I'm going to start bringing in some uh, red red brown now but i'm going to start mixing in different tones as well to try and get some some depth in there so we'll see how we go so i've also got raw sienna i'm putting on my pad a little bit of gold okra 
Right, add a little bit of that brown again. Quite a chunky tree this one. I have to tone that down a bit, give it a little uh, uh, skim. So where are we? Hello everyone, hello. So Tina said yes. Oh, do we have Wonder in here? Just tried to read chat there, sorry, got distracted. It's very hard paint at this angle, you know. I'm willing to do it for you all though. I'm willing to do it for you all. I want to know what projects you've all been working on. How are you doing? I'm slowly getting back on top of my channel. And um, what I mean by that is uh, starting to get myself finally in a brush um, some videos ahead of where I need to be. So taking the pressure off a little bit, which is great. Sorry, I'm trying my best to still keep talking while I'm while I'm doing my tree. today and if you can see my tree coming to life yet so what's going on here who said hi girl um oh is johnny in the house johnny in the house now be good johnny just taking away from stepping away from the camera so i can take a drink of tea this one looks like a grandfather tree compared to the other one i did and what I mean by that is he uh, looks like a male one. He's very chunky. Not that all males are, uh, are chunky. Nobody get mad at me. I am going to be going up to see my family up Yorkshire. I didn't know if I was going to do a live tonight, but Paula, who is my conscience, texts me to see. And every time she does, if I'm about to bail, because I'm like, oh, I've got so much to be doing, or I could be going in the spa relaxing because I've got a week off work and she must know and she always calls me or texts me and then I'm like all right guilted into it I'll be doing it which is good we all need a conscious sometimes <laughs> okay starting to get some character in him now It's still very chunky here, isn't it? What I might do is edit him back out because I don't want it that chunky. You might like it. I wish I could uh, edit myself like that if you want to lose a bit of weight instantly. You're like, right, yeah, here we go. Trim a bit out. I'm just going to bring his trunk in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to get my blue back out to do that and I'll check chat. Oh, hello, Alison. Are you back from your travels now? Oh, my word, Miss Wanda, blessed creation. Thank you so much for making my day today, seeing your beautiful video where you put so much positive energy out into the world and an amazing idea. If, you, if you've not visited Wanda's Blessed Creations channel, please pop over there, especially if you're either new to YouTube or if you have been on YouTube a while but you don't have a lot of subscribers um, if you get in touch with Wanda as per her video um, she's gonna do something to support people with a little draw or a little gifting or blessing so go and, go and check out her channel anyway watch her video she can explain it better than I can and it's a beautiful thing and you all know that I like to help uh, people out as well with their channel so if you have got a channel and you want people to go over if they're not already please put a little bit of love art a little bit just put a love art please after your uh, comment if you don't have a YouTube but you do have a Etsy store or 
a website or you sell your art on a different platform uh, also pop that channel or website number in the details so people can pop over and see you there you go I'm editing him out now trimming his waist down a bit I will bring his trunk back a little bit but at the minute I'm just giving him a reducing his trunk Trump was too big for me to be able to handle today. It's too thin now, but at least I can juice him back out again. What I might do is just bring him out a little bit there, and then I'm going to have to blow a little bit again with glitter. But here we go, you see me editing it. This is not something you would normally see me do on my videos. Move it out. Anyway. <laughs> oh, we are Oh, <laughs> you're not a big titty baby, but it's very funny that Paula organised for a Silla Black surprise, surprise to see you, and uh, you had a little bit of stage fright. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and also um, on the 12th of November, Friday the 12th of November, I am going to be doing a collaboration with uh, Wanda as well so keep coming back and seeing that i'm not going to reveal too much but i have found out she's a big fan of somebody or someone and so we're going to do it in the style of said person and now it looks really spooky doesn't it sorry just editing back my tree it's good to be able to do that and if you're doing it with resin like i did on my first one you can definitely edit your um your resin as well i might have lost some stars and all that but i'm not too bothered at this stage i just want to make sure it's oh it's very hard because it's high shine and wet but i'm enjoying him now his trunk's not as big and this one is definitely an old tree all right now we can start building up again and hopefully i can speed it up again a bit for you Jack. So we've got Bernie's Creations. <laughs> a little bit was understatement. <laughs> what are you on about? Oh, <laughs> you're on about Miss Wonder getting a bit shy. Okay, later. Clean my brush, Sharon. Clean your brush. All right, let's start making him again. I think Sharon you're just going back over the area you did but I am but it's a little bit more controlled <laughs> yeah but no but yeah but no but if I do areas and they become too light or anything like that that doesn't stress me out because for me um I'll just keep working on light and tricking it coming back and adding more depth uh, so I think every everything you do adds a little bit of depth and character. Anyway, shut up Sharon, you're just rambling on. Should do lingo bingo. Okay, so I am just gonna have a little look at chat and I'm gonna build this up for you. Deborah Hemsworth, hello my lovely. How are you this amazing Sunday evening? Uh, I want to hear more about your resin reaction that you're having. Is this with a different brand of resin you're using? Let me know how you're going. Is it is it enough for you not to work with resin again, or we we have you got a workaround? a brush I think I need to buy myself a brush set because I've been doing a lot with oils I've been using a lot of my brushes and I've not been able to I've ruined them basically I need a new set <laughs> let's just get straight to the chase that's what's happening it's 
very quiet with me, isn't it, when I'm doing this kind of art? I can't be too cheeky. I've got to rely on Miss uh, Johnny to be the uh, um, the joke of the... Uh, when I said joke, that sounded really bad, doesn't it? I mean, entertain people. That's what I meant, Johnny. So I usually put multiple different colours on my brush and then let some of the paint themselves do uh, some of the nice effects and then I'll see where it gives me and then I'll, I'll work on it. And then you start working out, well, where's your light source, where's your, where's your reflections and where's not, where's your reflection and where's not. It's a very intelligent conversation I'm having for myself, isn't it? Yeah, where is that light source? Ah, oh, my colour. I wonder which I've got a flare on somewhere missing. Sorry, digging through my box. I don't think I've got all my colours out or shades of brown that I want to use. I quite like it though sometimes when And your art is a little bit rough around the edges and not perfect all. Especially when it's a tree. It's got to have a little bit of character, hasn't it? Alright. Sorry, just standing back. I'm having a power surge, people. A power surge. Woo! A lot of paint on that brush there, Sharon. I will come and have a look at chat, see what everybody's up to. Anybody got anything exciting and happening in their world? Have they got any art or craft fairs coming up that they want people uh, to show support on? Have you yourself got some kind of collaboration happening? Just, well, I, I don't know why I said sorry then. I'm, 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 <laughs> I've got to stop saying sorry then. I'm not. I'm, I'm letting you join me in my art world. You can stay or not. I hope you stay. So I'm just trying to add a few crooked little um, branches and that now. Uh, talking of trees, Miss Wanda, how's your tree coming down? Uh, coming down. Coming along with your Halloween. Has it fallen over yet with all the stuff you're going to be pouring on there? So I'm just starting to build in some like shadowy areas. And I just keep standing back so I want to see where it's looking like. This area here you can see where I edited it out but once I add some more stars on there that'll be all right. So. It hurts to type. Oh, <laughs> oh! I didn't realise you were having problems. So your Rob's brought you a full respirator, Deb. Brilliant. Keep wearing that, Deborah. That's why sometimes I have days off it. <laughs> oh, you all sending love to each other. That's brilliant. All right, I'm gonna have another cup of tea. Uh, I really do need a thinner brush. Every time I'm going down thinner, I need a thinner, thinner brush. All right. Alrighty then, lingo bingo. Lingo bingo in the house. Just gotta think about where I'm gonna be putting my blossom soon. I don't want to be covering my moon. I want my moon to be the hero. This is where Paula, I really could do with you in my ear. Uh, and then you can be telling me what's going on in chat and I can uh, make you all laugh and engage in it. But at the minute I'm busy, busy with my, uh, busy with my tree.
I always wonder which phrase. How many branches should you put on a tree or not? I mean, most trees are going to disappear soon anyway. If something worth doing, it's worth doing right, eh? Well, at least trying to. All right, what's going on in chat? We've worked. <laughs> I should do really. I should get you to. Uh, I should get you to set up a web link now. It's a bit too late, so that I can uh, hear what you're saying. I should do a practice. I'm glad you like my trees. I glanced at somebody said that, and I'm like, yes, I like that. <laughs> This one is a tree of positivity, I think. The good thing when you're working with um, acrylics is it does dry a lot, lot, lot quicker. Which is a blessing. All right, I'm going to start to bring in maybe uh, more highlights than that now. I've done, I think I'm happy with it that side as far as branches or where I'm going to put on there. Yeah. And I think the rest is going to be just working on like um, this side and a little bit of the highlights. I love it when it's dry though and you can add a little bit of that gold gold pen. Just want a little stump there but it to be nothing. It's just it's just a stump. But now I'm gonna bring it out as well. I really don't like that colour. I'm gonna edit it out. Okay, let me just edit that bit out. Me not like it. I like where it's doing or where it's meaning. I just don't like the shade. Sorry, this is where you see me get lost in it now. It's really boring. It's just me, basically me, isn't it? You're just hanging out with me in my studio. Um, I ain't talking. Uh, what's going on there? Well, it's my birthday coming up 50th. The uh, members will know I'm going to go up and spend some time with family at Yorkshire. So, so looking forward to that. Uh, Neil's coming up with me. So that should be fun. And we're going to celebrate my fi my 50th. My, yeah, my 50th. My sister's 40th that I missed. My mum's 70th that we missed because of COVID. It's going to be nice to spend some time with family. Uh, hello, Fiona. You haven't missed much. Slowly bringing him to life. It's a slow process, but uh, it is um, a well, 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 worthwhile process, I think, anyway. Just filling up my paint, my paint um, panel, and then we'll start doing some. Ooh. I've used that before, I need some yellow down there. I should have watched my own video that I did to watch the colours that I used last time because I really enjoyed those. <laughs> no, I just stuck my hand in the box and saw what was going to come out. Okay. Move on Sharon. Start to highlight. I wish I could sort of, this is going to sound really weird, but put, but like, have like a head camera so it'd make you really dizzy though like something that would get you closer so that I could put this in a, a, a place that works for me but you've got a really good view of it I 
hope that made sense, what I was referring to. Anyway, there's lots of amazing people in here, so I know that you can all keep amusing each other. Oh, power surge, hot flushes, too much paint. I will keep looking at chat. Oh, hot flush, hot flush. Oh, I'm terrible today. Oh, what what did we get today at uh, CCC? I missed it. Oh, 600 subscribers, yes. So Jack, you're, po you're showing things in Facebook, no resin yet. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Um, oh, it is hot flushes, honestly. I'm terrible. That's why I've got my cup of tea at the minute. I don't know if that's really helping my hot flush. Oh, I can't see. There's a uh, terrible, terrible reflection just there, which is surprising considering. It's acrylics, not oils. Just starting to come through with a little bit of loose highlighting. Ugh. I hope that this is not too much of a boring video for you to see live because I know that um, you asked to see how it was in real time. Maybe you meant real time video rather than a live, but it's giving me a break from resin. I really needed a break from resin today. Well, because I'm, I'm in Florida live because I've just been working with it um, all day. I've got a most stunning couple of, I've got three sculptures ahead of videos that you've seen. I've just done another one today, which is a custom request in a certain color scheme and a certain size. Uh, hopefully it will be to their liking it's always hard because your sculptures are always going to take on their own form because they're free form um, but if they, somebody's seen one that you've done and they want it like that I just hope that they're going to enjoy the essence of where it'll be I'm sure they will I think I overthink it sometimes when I'm doing commission pieces. Also sculptures, they can look beautiful and people want them but they're an absolute pain to ship because you have to uh, package them so well and they're so big that it makes them quite not very cost effective for some people at the other end of the world. And they're quite fragile, so you've just got to hope that the uh, posties are uh, going to do the right thing. I've had a, I've, most of my work's got to different places where it's needed to be, but alas, this one lady's ordered two from me. And just hers, just hers alone, have um, broke twice and not got there, um, only in bits, which is very sad all right the old man tree is done but yeah I'm gonna spice them up oh who's this hello Harvey Price hello do you have only for oh god who's spamming me Paul I can hear um get this person out of chat for me please yeah <laughs> Don't you just love people that have nothing better to do with the time than just create hassle. But it's all good. Alright, just come in with some lighter yellow now. I just want to make sure I do get my branches that are directly in the moon a little bit lighter. Thank you, Paula. Mm. 
No, I don't. <laughs> We don't do too bad really with uh, idiots like that coming in so we're kind of blessed that way i've definitely got way a lot more tree than i did in my other room sorry my hand is going to be in your way at the minute Thank you, Paula. <laughs> it was very fast, though. Oh, can't you? Can, do you have the ability to ban him, Paula? Yeah, I think there's a. I think there's a way you can block them. I've, I've, uh, I'm not seeing it myself. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do anything. Um, I thought I'd given you full rights. Um. Oh, you've blocked him, have you? Thank you. Oh. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let me have a little look. See if I can do. Oh, there you go. I've blocked him. Reported him. Alright, I've blocked him and reported him. Alright, he should have been, yeah, he's blocked. Um, he shouldn't get any more. I've, I've, dealt, I've reported him and blocked him. I just clicked on his name. I didn't, I didn't even know how you could do that. So let's see. Yeah, I'll, uh, is it just, is it a bot, do you reckon? I just don't know how he's doing it. I just don't know if you've blocked him, how can he come back? Is it a slight abbreviation of his name? I don't know. It's like, I know I'm so sorry. <laughs> if it becomes a pain, I can understand if you don't want to stay here. I uh, I just don't, like if you press block, how is it getting out of it being blocked? I just don't get it. I'll keep my eye on it. Oh, here it goes again. So he's blocked. Yeah, but if you click on his name, it says he's blocked. Um, I just, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, I can cancel this live. Um, just I can cancel the live, um, but I don't know when I'm in when I've got a live going. Other than clicking on his name, Petra. If there's anything else I can do, yeah. Oh well. If it, if, it, if it comes back multiple times, what I will do is just start another channel, um, another live. But if it's going to be an absolute pain, it's going to be a pain anyway, I think. 
I reckon it's a, it's, it's got to be a bot. <laughs> I think it's somebody who's taken his name and pretending, which is really cruel. Here's me putting the tree of life out there for positivity, and then. Uh, I'm losing my focus on what I'm doing here. All right. All righty, Roos. I'll come back through with some more tones and colours. I can always add some more highlights. I'm going to come back through with some more colour on top of it, but just wanting to... Get a little bit of a uh, feeling in this tree. Thank you all anyway for sticking with it, even though there's somebody like that on. I really appreciate it. Appreciate each minute you spend with me. I'm ready. I'm ready to. Uh, um, I'm like on standby. <laughs> Finger at the ready. <sighs> I think sometimes myself, you may disagree and that's okay. When you get... Um, like little rough images of highlight rather than it all I'm trying to say perfect it's sort of I think it gives more character or you're doing it again yeah it's all you can do Paul I hope it's not stressing you out too much I think if you know him, I think he'll just do it repeatedly. Got my Neil playing music really loud downstairs, so that might get me in trouble as well. Please shut my door so you can't hear that. <laughs> it's going to be one of those where it's going to be like, oh. Oh, isn't it? Oh, I picked the wrong colour again. Did I? Just gonna, still trying to get my trunk right where I'm happy. Ah, oh, fire out. making a good experience for everybody anyway let me just keep coming I'm just gonna all I do when I'm doing something like this is I literally just work back and forth back and forth until I'm happy I just want to get some different tones or some nice colors into the tray to make it look alive and I'll keep going until I'm happy and we rely that you're all looking at chat for me because uh, well, unfortunately I can't do that and do this. But if it gets stressful, I can understand if people don't stay. And uh, uh, come back another day. understand I just don't understand how you can block somebody and then they're unblocked it's uh, it's uh, unique yeah 
Yeah, I've reported him and blocked him. This is an absolute pain. But that's what he wants, so he's probably getting what he wants, which is disturbing us on our um, on this live. Okay, I had a bit more highlight on there. It's sucking my soul out. I don't even believe it is a, I think it's a, there in itself the name they're using shows that he's not a nice person because I doubt very much that it is the person whose name they've got on there, which is sad as well. <sighs> it's one of them, I, I bet you're all there with your, your uh, fingers, aren't you, ready to uh, block as soon as you see. Thank you. Anyway, with uh, Vegas got in cancelled, I never thought I would say this, but it ended up being a blessing, which is awful because I never thought I'd say that because my wedding ring, the company, didn't finish it in time and they uh, promised it would have been ready two weeks over the due date. So that's a blessing, I suppose, why we're not going to Vegas. And then um, I wouldn't have been able to go because I got pinged last night at eight o'clock. And so I'm not allowed to leave my house for two days. I feel fine. I've been double vaccinated, so I should be okay. But it's like, wow, it really, I really was not going to be getting on that plane to come to America to get married. I hope you're okay little person who has no friends who has got nothing better to do with their time <laughs> I'm almost at the point myself where it's just I can't be bothered Anyway, I could always um, park it here and I can do a, another live tomorrow. Yeah, I know I've, Stacey, I've blocked him, he's blocked, I've reported him, I've reported him, but he still keeps getting messages through, so I just don't understand, there's no logic to why, why it is happening. It's just a very disturbed individual that's doing it. part of their fun is just um, making other people miserable but karma has a way of coming back to people and yeah okay the tree itself is now glowing a little bit. What I will do is just let this dry a little bit and then I'll come and add a tiny little bit of gold. I'm just going to turn it this way so I can see it myself. There's still some nice positive energy there. I 
don't have my uh, computer on Petra. No, I don't believe it's really in. Um, I'm on an iPad, so on an iPad you click the name of a person and it comes up with um, block report. So I, I'm doing everything I can do, Petra, I'm afraid, from my iPad. If I look at him as well, it li literally I get a choice for report or block. I don't know if anybody else sees the option that um, you're talking about. Oh, it's took my... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's made... I can't believe how people like that can have their... Well, that's what they want, isn't it? They want you to feel crap as a human being. That's their whole mission. But I'm going to continue trying to paint and trying to get my... Uh... <laughs> Positivity back. I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I'm happy here. Okay, I'll let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of gold pen. Now the gold pen is just this one here. That's why I want to wait while it's dry. And I'm just going to come in and add a few highlights just to, just to bling it up a little bit. I can do it now with this one I, I chisel it on an angle and I'm just basically I'm going to come under where the highlights are a little bit I only want it to be thin but it just adds a nice I don't know magical thing to your tree of life in my opinion anyway you might not want to do this it's an optional thing if you do it and you don't like what you've done you just come back through with a paintbrush just need to make sure i'm not getting much paint on there which i'm not When I first did this, I was like, oh. And then we're going to come through with some glow. Glow paint. Glow in the dark paint. Yes, we are. Just do a gold one. Just do a tree that's full of gold. Sorry, I've gone quiet. Just trying to get my energy back, but also just focusing on what I'm doing here. With the, when I first applied the glow in the dark paint, I was really scared that it was going to, I want to say, be seen, like you're going to see it on top of this, but it dries clear so you do not see it. When it dries, it goes on green and you're like, oh, I've just ruined my piece. Uh, but it wasn't too bad. And again... I'll stand back and look at this and think, do I like that? Do I not? Do I want to paint over it? Do I not? Where I would, I just want it to look like mainly in this area here. There's little bits here, I know, but mainly where you're getting the moon 
dazzling on it. Oh, he's been back again, has he? We get knocked down, but we get up again. Oh, that was a big piece there. Just pretend it's at the end. All right, let me look there. I'll do this bit here. glow in the dark fun little one like this now you should have or you could have your uv light on so you can see where you're painting but when it goes on it goes on green and um, i'm going to put it on this time before i paint my flowers on last time i did it after and it made it a bit more awkward so we'll see how we go there uh what is that one how old is this something a young teenager would do yeah i've got no idea yeah, I keep changing my report to everything. <laughs> oh, I got stuck. Sorry, I didn't realise that he'd been back again or I would have done that. Oh my gosh. Thank you. So it looks really thick and weird to start with. <laughs> so you're like, oh, this is going to really ruin it. But it shouldn't do. And it, it just goes on and it's... It's like a very light green cream paste. And you start thinking, oh, is it gonna is it gonna ruin it? But I don't think it did. I just want it so that when the when the light goes out there's a little bit of magic there in the tree. I will uh, try and turn the light out before I'll put my UV light on so you get to see this tree. Mainly sticking to the to the outline of it. But it's one of the easiest paints to clean off your hands because in the dark, it, um, your hands glow. <laughs> that was funny. When I was cleaning, I thought, yeah, at least I know where I'm going to, um, how much I've got to clean off. I'll get my UV light so soon so you can see what we've done before we add our, our blossom. Now the blossom goes on fairly quick once you've got your tree and I think that's one thing with your tree. Yes you want it to you want to be happy with the branches and, and the placement and the highlights but you can always add that detail again later but you gotta remember a lot of it's gonna get covered up. quite expensive this glow in the dark paint but you don't need a lot at all a little goes a long way and we'll see what's going on chat oh what's going on oh i got it from amazon the glow in the dark paint Uh, but it's this brand you can buy it anyway it's called Aurora this bright green 
There's a few other things you can do. Um, like there's a, uh, I think there's a blue one and then there's a green one. Oh, was it really Katie Price? <laughs> I've been painting, so I've missed most of these shenanigans. I've just been trying to get my energy back centered and I've seen a logo for Katie Price. I'm like, no, that's got to be the same person that was been doing the spam, surely. You know, I have the likes of a superstar on my channel. Yes, I am going to put something on that tree very soon. You're going to see all my blossom coming on. At the minute, I'm just glowing the dark in it. And trying to make it come alive when the lights go out so it feels quite magical. You've got a subscription there. Do I get points for composure through all of this? <laughs> well, I hope it's not stressed you out and everybody else on the channel. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here's me thinking could have a tranquil evening. Do a tree alive, put some positivity out into the universe. Nope. I was going to tell you the story as, as well. The most horrendous, well, when I say most, it's not the most, but a horrendous thing happened to me when I was on my way into work the other day. I was doing, I had to be at work very early. I'm not naturally a morning person. Always glad to be alive. And on my way into work, got out my car and I stood in um poop so i thought dog poop and now it ended up it's in the multi-story car park so i think it was human i was dry reaching all day at work the thought of it <laughs> 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 all right i'm just going to dab a few now on for the stars just gonna don't worry it's not gonna take too long. I can always add stars later. Just want enough that as the lights go out that it you can sense what it's meant to be. Well, that was a big one there. I'm ready for getting my UV light out. Eighties chicks in the house. Get ready for it. You don't really notice where it is that I've done at the minute until this light's going to go off. And then if I've not got enough stars, I can balance that out. where I've been. Oh, that was another big one there. Ooh. I know Cosmic Carol, I know. All day <laughs> I was going Bleh! every time and my shoes I've I've like wiped them on every everything. I've walked through water. I just can't bring them in my house. When I got back to the car, at the end of my shift, it was um, whoever looks after that garage had put cat litter tray, cat litter stuff all over it, so they're obviously aware it was there. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a fun old couple of days. I'm just going to... Right, bear with me while I go get my 80s UV lamp and let's see where we're going with this. And then I think it's blossom time and that should start bringing it to life fairly quickly. Oh, sorry, I, I'm still here. I'm just grabbing it. 
I hope nobody has any um, if you warning. I'm going to put UV light on. I hope it doesn't give anybody a headache or anything like that. Looks like this. It's kind of cool. It's only a 10 watt one, so I think I get headache from it because it flickers. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it does. So it's going to look like that. But what I'm going to do is just charge it. And you should see it starting to come green in front of you. You see how that's going green? And what I'll do is turn the light out and then I can work out what parts I like or don't like. Bear with me. Lights going out, people. Lights are going out. One more light going out. And then hopefully you can see, oh, very big stars there. Let me get that off. I'll cover that one up. So you get to see the idea of it. And you can then work out what it is you need to change or tweak. Lights are coming back on. I'm just going to add a little bit more there. But I can always do that later. But that's... That's how you can work with your glow-in-the-dark stuff to see how it's going. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the day glow stuff for now because I can go back and do that later. And I'm going to come in now and create some blossom. Now, I create my blossom by, I use three colours and a dab. What's Paula saying? Um... I can't see what she said. Paula, Paula, Paula. <laughs> oh, Tia, really? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I was, luckily, I just got out of the car and I was going to work. So I wasn't going to be back in my car for like 12 hours. <laughs> But it's like just getting back out like <laughs> so i normally get groups of three i go in with a dark uh, a medium and a light and i normally dab on the dark come through with a medium come through with a light and then that helps create illusion of depth in my opinion you don't have to do this you use whatever style suits you so i've got like my three colors there and I'm going to start with a pink down here. Just going to dab. I think my blossom will be. Now, with because you're working with acrylics, you really need to dab when it's um, wet on wet, in my opinion, for you to really get that depth feel and you can work out how bushy you want to make it so i'm coming in now with a slightly lighter one and then if you work out that your tones are too near each other you can mix up your colors like you might want to put a red underneath and then that would help create the depth you just want to have that contrast of light and dark And then you work out where do you want your blossom to look like it's falling or flowing. I'm going to come back with a lighter one. Now I might have to take you in close for you to see where it is that I'm, I'm doing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. And then hopefully when you start dabbing it, you'll bring through some lights and darks and it'll help it make look Add some more depth or movement. It makes it look more interesting. And you work it until you're happy. Let me see if I can bring you in so you can sort of see. Can you see what I mean by that? 
And because I've got that colour now on my palette, I'm going to spread that around now in different areas. Hello, Bee Bear. Ooh, what did I miss, Heather? Oh, finally, married. Yay. Oh, that's going to be nice. That is going to be nice. Pink here. <coughs> Where I put these as well in my head, I'm just thinking um, is somewhere going to be lighter or darker, depending on whether it's in the shade or to heading towards the moon. I think I might have to add a little bit of um, red in here. I don't know if that pink's dark enough. This is where I'll go really quiet because uh, I find this part really. I don't know, it's the dotting, isn't it? Anytime Sharon's dotting, she's dotalicious. This one's going to have some trailing down behind that branch there. It's going to make more sense to me. I don't know why. That's just where I feel it's going to go. Oh, you've recovered from COVID. Oh. Yeah, I've got a week off. Very excited by that. Gonna catch up with family and friends. If I'm, al well, when I'm allowed out. Again, I've only got one more day where I've got to hide inside. And this is all I'm going to do then is repeat and then try different colours. But I don't know if you want to see each bit of blossom being added or if you just want me to show you one of each colour. So I just noticed that's not. Okay, bring you in and show you that a little bit. This is the blossom coming along. done this one of course <laughs> I'd started it and I'm like right I'm on to different colours I'm like now that doesn't make sense Sharon ah oh, thank you ladies and gentlemen and thank you for staying with me through the shenanigans it means a lot I thought you've all deserted me. <laughs> I thought you'd have all deserted me. I thought, no, that's too much drama for one night. use 
use my blues now. I got myself a dark ultramarine. And I've got a phthalo blue, which I've not used before, so that's weird because I thought it was. And I'm going to have a very light blue, which is a sky blue as the light tone coming through. I'm going to rinse and repeat. And I have not, you can't see this will you, because of the, uh, the blue background, but okay. I'm going to have two lots of blue there. Could have mixed it with a bit of purple, but I'm being rebellious. I'm going through that slightly lighter, light, light, lighter one, slightly lighter. I just really enjoy dotting things, don't I, of lately? Ladies and gentlemen, Sharon, the dot meister. Coming in with that light blue. It does make a beautiful colour combination, this. Really enjoy that blue one. Blue combination there. Oops, keep standing on stuff. I hope that you're all, all good anyway. Hello, Mary. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Mary. <laughs> Hello, Deborah. Welcome. I'm going to have the blue hanging down here. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are safe and well. And I hope that you're enjoying seeing this come to life a little bit, or at least how I do it. I'll stand back and I'll be like, oh, the tree's maybe not as good as I could have done it, but I was highly stressed at the time in my defence, but I still think it's going to make for a stunning tree of life. I do them in dots, but it's not necessarily a dot that I do it. I just put a little bit of pressure on and then it just gets the paint to pick up and add its own little effects just makes it look so much more organic in my opinion and i definitely need a lot more white near where it's directly onto the onto the moon and i i mean there is no rhyme or reason to where i'm placing them there's different colors I've got two more colours I'm going to work between. You might choose not to have any on your branches. It's a personal choice, but it's, it's fun to do. I think when you mix up the colours, it's um, a little bit more aesthetic pleasing. You might choose to just do one colour. Totally fine. You might choose to just leave your tree with no No colours in uh, like just naked, a naked tree. I don't want to put a lot of bush in that one, didn't I? All right, we'll check chat again. Check chat. what you're all up to. I'm sure Paula and other members are keeping you all entertained. Put a bit more light up 
there because that's where it's really reflecting on. Nice, nice depth there, if I do say so myself. down here and then I'll bring in the next colour and then at least if I've done most of the colours you then get an idea of what the tree can look like and then I will check chat check chat Very peaceful now, thank the Lord. I have got the spar on and I'm taking way longer than what I said, so I reckon I'll give myself another half hour time at most and then I'm gonna go in the spa in my nail. We cranked it up today, ready to go in. what's going on I think. Alrighty, alrighty Lingo Bingo. Let's see what's going on in chat. Hello Chipper Doodle. This all got crafting on here. Stacy, Deborah, Johnny, I've said Crafty Nook, St. Alison, wonderful, Juliet here. Alright, let me show you close up now. The blue and the pink blah, 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 blossom. I'm going to come through with the purple now. And then we'll add a little bit of red. I need to move that out of the way because I keep standing on it. Blowing the dark stuff all over the floor. So with my purple, which is Miss Paula's favourite colour, there's going to be a permanent violet. They look very similar in colours. Two violets. I have to do a blue and a purple. We've got a mauve, which will be a nice one. So I have a feeling these colours are going to be too similar. But we shall see. We shall see. I'm going to put some blossom here, even though there's no branch there. I'm going to pretend there is. I feel like it needs something here. That's the great thing about trees. You can make up your own branches when you put your blossom on. I do think these are going to be too similar in colours. Now they're definitely separate colour. I'm going with a lighter one now. Hopefully that will give me a nice contrast. Well, that's a lot on that brush then. Gonna have to add some dark in there to break that up. Just adding a little bit dark so I went a bit heavy handed with my light colour. I kind of lost a little bit of the depth but not too bad. A little bit of light in certain areas. Okay, so this is the purple blossom that's just been added. That's alright, Heather. We'll 
we'll see you when you come back. to have lost my uh okay there we go thank you for staying heather as long as you did um i have used a fan brush before i'm not a lover of fan brushes i know you can get some nice delicate stuff going on with them um i just i've, I've tried them multiple times i've just never ever been a lover i know that it's probably me putting too much paint on there but yeah that's my honest opinion but thank you for asking tina i want to know if you have resisted going onto my videos so that you you see the um thumbnail of your um goddess or if you've resisted that and you're going to wait until the video premieres on the 17th No, not at all. <laughs> I resist as well. <laughs> You're the perfect spot for that tree, <laughs> do you? <laughs> That's good to know. Well, that makes me happy because it means that you're enjoying it, Johnny. It means you are enjoying it and that makes me happy. Because I know that my channel is mainly loved for its resin. So when I have other people that enjoy my paintings, it makes me very happy. So we now have a purple, three purples, three pinks, four blues, so I need one more purple. And I am going to put my purple here. Sorry, trying to even it out, but not even it out. Does that even make sense? And then I just chop and change between the remaining colours. Maybe leaving some branches out. Maybe not. Oh, Paul, I so have to get you in my ear for the next one of these. Be interesting because under what I did, which was mixed media and resin, the resin helps the oil, uh, the um, acrylics jump out at you now this is just going to have varnish on it because it's a thin canvas so resin is not the best for this otherwise it'll bend it as it starts to heat up and that in summer time unless it was stuck to a um a firmer board that is i might add as well some highlights of white in the areas near the brush this is where we currently are and then we're going to come in with some red flowers and then i'll just then even out the colors that i've used so that's where we are now with the three different colors that we've used looking good oh thank you right let's go in with some red so i think the red's gonna have to have some white in it or pink too 
make that stand out a bit. So we've got bright red, and then we've got a scarlet red. Let's see how that is. I just don't know if these three colours are going to stand out unless there's any white in there, but we shall see. Let's go for it. Sorry, I didn't even realise then if you were getting my hair stuck right in front of your camera. A little bit of my forehead all sticking in. Paula, is this as bad as watching uh, me cut cellophane or is it a little bit more entertaining? That's Miss Paula. Last week you all watched me uh, dry UV resin, so we know we could do 60 seconds. Week before it was cellophane, cutting around all my cellophane, and this week it's all about uh, my blossom and the dots. Okay, it's not too bad that. Oh, thank you, Tina. I, I, I've decided that if you don't like her, I like her. I'll keep her for my collection and we can go back to the drawing board for you if you're not happy with her. Uh, but I absolutely love her. Very, very peaceful to look at. In my opinion. Oh, that red's lush. I quite like that red. Let me show you that. Uh. There we go. Lush red, lush red. <sighs> no, Stacey. You know what? It's good for your soul. You just need, you know, it'll be there tomorrow. It'll be there in a few hours. Take a little bit of time out. Hang out with your art friends. I mean, really, you could say you're actually working because you're building up inspiration for a future project so that's not that's not doing nothing is it i mean that's using your time very creatively and very wisely in my opinion i think that will have to be a blue one there Beats housework, yeah. Yeah, the red looks quite nice. I think it should dry nice as well. white to it oh it's really silver it's a little bit of silver i've got there just to try and give a little bit more depth there the reason i keep stepping away is when i'm just trying to look and get perspective of what i've done okay so we're going to do a bit red here Bit of red there. You can see I'm not being, well, I can see I'm not being precise, I'm just dabbing away. And then we'll chat, chat again, see what you all up to. If you're all in a happy place. Ooh, oh, hello, Miss Gordhead. 
how is Cheryl today? I hope that you are well. You've missed all the dramas. But you've come in a good place to see this piece coming together, hopefully. Hope you've been well. Or something like that. Okay. So red there. Yeah, red there. Oh, let me look at chat. That red just pops, it does. It starts to come together once you get all the colours on there. To start with, you think, oh, where's it going? But it really does, I think, add a lot of value when you get the different colours and it sort of suddenly brings it all together quite nicely, in my opinion. I'm glad you also think that as well. I do want to over a branch there a little bit. And up there. Get some nice texture though. Don't be concerned with uh, not getting texture. It's got that much texture. If I was to put resin on it, it'd probably need two layers to even it out. Ooh, I can tell it's starting to dry now when I'm getting my clumps. Tiny little bit of silver, and then I will. I think I'm going to put blue there. When I stand back, I'm just trying to uh, also work out the distribution of colours. What's going on here? Uh, Mary was going to clean out a fridge today. This is so much more fun. It gives me ideas for future projects. I always have a small sketchy notepad pen so I can write notes. Brilliant. Oh, what's going on with Cheryl? Let me have a little look what Cheryl's on. Oh, oh, you're not very well. So sorry about that, Cheryl. Uh, I am using acrylics today so that I could get the project done in uh, one go. Okay, hello, Dorkley. Let's see if I've got any blue left that I can use. No. Nope. Okay. Top up my blue. I don't, I want, yeah, I'm going to put, while I've got my red, I'm going to put a little bit of red here. I don't want to waste any paint if I can, but I'm going to have the blossom hanging over there a little bit.
not much long to go. Um, other than I would add maybe uh, some of the glow, glow in the dark stuff to the flower as well so you get to see a little bit of the blossom when it goes dark as well but I just needed to dry a little bit for that. And I need a little bit of silver here. And I'll check, chat, check, chat again. Yeah, I definitely feel it's blue there. Yeah, they do stay. Bit, bit easier to clean up, isn't it? Um, acrylics. Okay, I'm clean with the blue. I think I've got enough blue of the others left though, so. I know it's going out of pattern, but there is no pattern. It is just going to be as it needs to be. Hopefully um, you're enjoying seeing this come to life. Hopefully you are inspired as somebody else uh, mentioned earlier. Is Miss Paula still on here? Paula's gone very quiet. She's fallen asleep on me. It's like you're boring me, Sharon. Come on. Or she's cooking food. Or ironing. Alright, so this is where we currently are at. there. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to this one here. I think it's because I like the blue and the uh, red one. She's resting her fingernails, yeah, from all that, uh, <laughs> from all that banning she had to do. Oh, bless. It would have been stressful for her. Oh, sorry, Paula. There's a blue there. You use some um, res Roxy Epoxy Glow in the Dark Mica from Amazon. I've just got the paint that you're typing, but I've, with the mica powders, I've never really had too much joy. I must, it must be user error. I have to try them again. I reckon you've got to mix them right. I did do one project once with it and it worked out. Oh, that's uh, quite a lot of light blue there. Get that toned down a bit. Not a happy little accident. 
All right, so just a reminder, people that don't know, I've got a collaboration coming up with um, Wanda's Blessed Creations. It's going to be the 12th of November, so giving her plenty of time to get organised. If you've not been over and visited her channel, pop over and have a look at the great stuff she's doing it, trying to share and encourage people that are just starting their journey with art. And also, I'd love to ask who in here has a channel. I know that I know it, but people that might be watching this after event, if you've got a channel or sell your art and have a website, you want people to pop over and have a look, put your details in the chat now. That would be amazing. I'm going to put some more blue there. You can tell I like the blue. I'm going more for the blue. Uh, but put a heart after your name please in here if you've got a channel and you would like people to go out and check out your work or if you've got a website put the link in um, we'll do our best to share the love and support I think this art community there is plenty plenty of people out there um, and it's a big platform for us all to share the love and support each other so a heart after your name please Oh, thank you, Johnny. You keep safe also. Really appreciate that. And thank you for your support. Then we've got the crafting nook. Oh, yeah, Tony making trouble. Hmm. There we go, Cosmic Carol. I know we've got Wonders Blessed Creations. Pop over and see her channel. Uh, we've got Deborah. Um, who has a channel also. Show the love, people. Okay, I feel. Oh, oh, I've got a big. Oh, I've got a big muffin here with me. Oh my god, last night I had a hornet land on me, and it was massive, and I nearly died. Literally, I ran to the bottom of the stairs thinking I'm gonna have a heart attack. I need to close my window. All the insects are coming in because the window's open and the lights are on, and they're coming out in droves at the minute. I've got one of those flying daddy long leggy things and they make me want to cry. I don't like them around me in my art studio. I know that they're wonderful creatures, but they scare me. They scare me. All right, a little bit. I can hear it bopping. I'm glad I've got my window closed for my resin, otherwise they'd be in there. Holy moly, I can feel them. They're just going to land on me, aren't they? Mid I mean, that would just sum this up, wouldn't it, my evening? Something landing on me and you're hearing me scream and crying because they scare me that much. Yes, they do. Oh, the ones that fly as well. Oh, this, this at the minute is the moth. It's like a kamikaze. I feel like to say that nowadays. It's like a moth that's dive bombing me, scaring me. <laughs> I'll stick with it though. I'll stick with it. Once I've done this, it's then just a matter of coming in and doing a few highlights. Just trying to make sure that there's no glowing obvious gaps where I would like a little bit of a little bit of blossom. But we are nearly there, ladies and gentlemen. We are nearly there. I'll put pink there as the final thing, I think. And then I will paint some more glow in the dark stuff on here and put my UV lamp on for you one last time so you get to see what it looks like when it's all glowy. And then I'll sort out the things where my stars are too big. I need a little bit of silver. Put it 
everywhere look. It's going to go and hang. Ah, oh, please tell me that's not on my arm. Oh, oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> I don't want to make you all jump by me screaming. What is about to happen? Just adding a few little highlights now. Where the moon is catching it. I'm adding a few low lights in there as well. Got my purple going over. Get rid of that, Sharon. Don't be a lazy artist. Just helping that illusion that this is where the moon is really capturing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Wanda, you are an amazing person. Your channel is putting so much positivity and love out there in the world, and it is just nice to be with somebody who is truly grateful and a kind soul full of positive energy stuff out there into the art community and trying to support other people i love that you take your time to thank everybody that sell send you the gifts that you've been getting which sounds like much deserved especially if you're living in an area where it's such a small town and hard to get things all right let me have a little look ski and where we're going with these highlights just to make sure I'm happy that we're getting enough at the top, just a little bit of go. And I feel like there's one place that I need to put stuff, but I just can't see where that stuff is. And standing back to get perspective a little bit. It's there. And so just a little bit of pink. I think it's there. Not a lot needed. Oh, go away, Mr. Moth. I can feel you flapping me. It's almost like you're, you're fanning me with your wings are that big. Light of pink. I'm glad I've shut the door though before another hornet comes in because that was scary. Okay, I want to do something here. Make it look like it's hanging that way. And then I will bring you in and so you can see it where we're at. And then I can spend some time off camera where I'll just do um make sure everything makes sense make sure i'm happy with everything tweak anything i'm unhappy with but i'm not going to make you stay here and watch me for all of that but i will show you we put in the uh, a little bit bold there <laughs> i'm gonna put something there and then that'll be it 
Um, I'm going to pull it over there a little bit. I will, I will show you the glow in the dark stuff that I do where I'm just going to dab it on. Dab it on my bush. I hope, I've not been looking at chat, so I hope you're okay. And I hope that there is still people here watching me. Never know, do you? All right, that feels balanced for me, for this sitting, for now. Oh, somebody's leaving. Bye-bye, Chippy Doodle. Oh, thank you, Miss Felicia. That's very nice of you, appreciate that. Let me bring it in to show you where we currently are. Hopefully you're still seeing the sparkle coming out from the glitter. Turn it around. And I'm going to start dabbing on a little bit of the glow in the dark stuff again. What I'm going to do is just light it up again. Light it up, up, up. We're going to charge it. Oh, I thought I'd put it on. All right, we're going to charge this bad boy again. See it going green, and then I can see where I'm going to add it to my blossom. So lights are going off, ladies and gentlemen. Try not to stress. This is just me charging my light. Ready for the glow in the dark stuff. Hopefully you can still see. Let's see if you can see if I've got any glow in the dark. And I am then gonna come with my, hopefully this light is gonna be okay for you. Look, look at my paint, you can't miss it. <laughs> and we are going to dab paint on blossom. And I am going to fix up my stars, not tonight. They're a little bit too thick for me. But I am going to dab my blossom. Blossom needs dabbing. And it will go on really bright. But it will disappear. So that you don't see this. Now you can choose to paint with the light like this if you want. Or you can charge it right now and then it will glow for a little bit or you can see it green when you first put it on well, I'm going to put the lights on for now but then you will get this image anyway so let me turn this off So then you can have a beautiful tree of life in the light or in the dark. Now it does take a little while, but like you can work with it like this where you've got the light charging it and then you get to see a little bit where the glow in the dark is. So at least you can see because it, it does disappear and it disappears to clear. But I just want a hint of where the blossom's going to be so that as it goes too dark, I get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a celebration with a glow in the dark painting. But that's the process, so I am not going to keep you watching me do that that part. But I will show you next week the finished results of doing this. Uh, but I think I've kept you here long enough now because this is nearly two hours. Uh, but I think you get the idea of it. So I'm going to have to go. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I'm sorry it wasn't smooth sailing. But at least you get the idea of how I create my tree. Uh, for the Tree of Life. The resin mixed media piece that I did. And just have fun. Go for it. Make it fantasy. Make it real. Whatever you want. Um, uh, but I'll keep tweaking this. Not tonight, I'm going to go and have a spa now, uh, but that's how I created my tree of life for my collaboration that I did with Cosmic Carol. 
you've not seen that collaboration, pop over and see Cosmic Carol, what she created, and also go into my back catalogue and see what I created. But, oh, thank you so much, everybody, for your support. Uh, really, 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 um, really appreciate it. And I will see you not next Sunday because I'll still be up Yorkshire. Uh, so you're not going to see too much from me next weekend. Uh, but I'll try and get my back catalogue of videos up. But next time you see me, I'll be in my five O's. In, in the live, that is, not in my videos. So, thank you all. It's been an amazing time. Stressful time, but amazing time. And really appreciate your support. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you all. And keep safe.